Hello everyone, this is Scorpion from How to Do, and today you guys will be learning how to make a a death restart kind of a menu system in Unity using Playmaker. So in this video, uh, we will learn that. But in the previous videos, we made this menu in Unity using Playmaker. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead, click the link in the description box below, and see that first. So uh, in the previous videos, we made this. We can play the game. We can go to level one we can also play the uh, level one and we can also go ahead and press escape and there we go this is the pause menu we can resume the game we can restart the level and we can also come back to the main menu all right so but when we die like this there is no menu appearing we cannot restart the game we cannot do anything except we can press escape and restart from here but that's not the thing uh, we have to do something for that so uh, if again if you haven't seen the uh, previous videos go ahead click the link in the description box below and see them first because that will help you a lot so without wasting any time let's get started so in the previous video we made this pause menu as you can see right here pause menu uh, what, what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and say control D and duplicate the pause menu now uh, disable one of the pause menus and change the name of the second menu to killed menu all right this menu will appear when you are killed and go ahead and remove this resume button just like that so we have only restart and back button now we can go ahead and uh, read just the the buttons just like that bring them here make them little bigger and also bring them little away from each other just like that and we can also bring them up so I think that is good enough alright so as you can see this is restarted this is back uh, and let me just quickly go ahead and play and see what happens there we go and we can say restart and the game restarts okay and we can say back and the game comes back to the main menu and that is awesome now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and enable this menu whenever our player dies right so how to do that so first what you have to do is you have to have some kind of a dying system for example if I jump from this cliff I die alright when I jump off or when I hit this guy when I hit this guy this one like let me just quickly show you guys this is the game which I made uh, if I run towards that thing if I do and there we go so now whenever this guy hits me I actually die and if I show you guys BAM you can see I died right so I want some kind of a menu to appear in here how to do that now first thing what you need to do is you need to just go to the whatever you want whatever you are using uh, for the death system for example I'm using this one uh, so in here let, uh, I can see when trigger events uh, whenever our player gets in this zone in this zone this one our player dies so in here I want to go ahead I uh, I set property and all that stuff I can go ahead and say uh, two variables and global variables and I can set a float uh, bool in here boolean and I'm gonna say killed all right and this it will be the bool which i will use so i'm gonna say set bool value and the bool value which wanna set is killed so it means the player is killed all right the bool value is true which means player is killed and i'm gonna say control c control v in here and i'm gonna say not killed or i actually don't need that all right okay so whenever the game starts this boolean is by default false there we go boolean it is false set to false when the game uh, starts the boolean is false and whenever it hits this guy the boolean is set to true okay uh, let me just quickly check that out if it is actually working uh, variables global variables and play the game and now let me just just bring these guys a little away there we go play the game and as you can see if I select the kill it is false alright all right. and if I play the game and go through and hit that thing there we go you can see it is set to true 
now we're going to use this boolean to uh, turn on the 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 kills menu all right I'm gonna go ahead and say control C control V for the pause menu controller and instead of pause menu controller I'm gonna say kills menu controller and say edit and in here what I'm gonna do is I wanna say delete delete this guy these two guys okay it's, it's okay and also delete this one okay and I'm gonna quickly change change this uh, where is it pause menu to kill the menu there we go also to do the same thing in here this is what we made in the previous video so if you haven't seen them go ahead and check that out and in here I wanna go ahead and say uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and say control C make a new state and delete this one set as start state this one there we go and I'm gonna say paste actions and and uh, pause and there is no resume in here right because when you're killed it is killed all right so I want to go ahead and say bool test and I'm gonna test the bool which is killed so whenever the player is killed and when it is true we want to say pause which will go in here all right and in here I want to go ahead and say activate the kills menu and the time will slow down which uh, this means scale time which means time will slow down and in here time scale is set to 1 which means the time is in the correct position and by default the killed menu will be uh, deactivated it will not be activated until that that thing appears all right let me just quickly check that out if it's working because sometimes it does not works and if it does not I will tell you guys why not but first we are going to check that out jump and get hit with that thing there we go okay let me just go ahead and go to full screen and show you guys how the effect looks and jump and get hit with that thing bam all right as you can see there's slow motion going on in here and we're gonna say restart and back we can restart the game uh, sorry I hit back which I was not intending to do uh, I accidentally hit back all right so there we go restart okay re the game is actually restarted however the this is not being uh, turned uh, away or we cannot play the game now so this is a little problem uh, we can solve it pretty quickly okay all right okay so uh, restart okay get to restart and when the level restarts well it should not happen actually play the game again and let's see what is actually happening uh, play jump and come in here all right so it activates and when we say restart the level actually restarts however this guy is still on okay so now what you need to do is you need to go to the restart button and I'm gonna say edit or we can go to the pause menu uh, the killed menu controller pause menu controller and come in here and when the game is paused I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, set bool value and set the killed to false like that alright so that the player when when the menu is activated this guy is turned off alright I think that is the correct thing to do okay let's just check that out if it's working or not play the game jump 
bam bam all right restart there we go as you can see it's working nicely so the thing you needed to do is you need to just go ahead and whenever the the guy is killed and when we use this guy we want to set that back to killed to false all right so that we can use it again and again all right so okay so that is now working you just need to set it to false when you are activating this killed menu great so now as you can see if we play there will be a pause menu whenever you die and bam there we go he kills he's killed and when we say restart the levels restarted and we can also restart it from here and we can also resume the game and we can come back and we can also come back when we die and like like that and there we go and we can say back and we are back to the main menu okay so it's looking awesome and uh, now you can see if we go to level 2 and play level 2 you can see that when we die in level 2 like this there is no menu appearing in here so that is little bad so how to do that we can go to level 1 again and we can go ahead and copy all of these pause menu pause menu controller killed menu killed menu controller and we can say copy go back to level 2 and we can paste it in here and I think that will quite nicely work if we play the game you can see that if I press uh, escape yeah, this thing happens and we can restart the level and level 2 actually restarts not level 1 so that is pretty awesome restart we can also resume and if we oh sorry 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 my mistake we don't have to go to this cube because there we go and when we die it does not work because uh, because this is not set to what I have set it in that game we just have to come in here and we just have to do the same thing which we did in that one so we can go ahead and do a simple thing we can come back to level one and we can save it and we can say copy the trap box say copy go back to level two and we can delete this trap box and we can paste it in here there we go and now it will I think naturally work and BAM there you go it's working we can restart BAM restart BAM restart and that's that hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link to that is in the description box below and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video <laughs> till then be cool